Building assemblies in Onshape provides a different and unique experience to other 3D design tools. In this video, we'll build this jackhammer, add motion and gear ratios, and show how with 32 top level components, only 29 mates are needed to fully define the assembly. We'll start by adding a subassembly that contains the housings. It's important that at least one component in your design is fixed. In this case, we'll choose the rotor housing. We'll bring in three additional subassemblies that need to be assembled in fairly static locations the handle, tool head, and motor subassemblies. To locate these, we'll start with a fastened mate. This is the most commonly used mate in Onshape because of its versatility. With a single mate, we can remove all six degrees of freedom from a component with a single mate. You can define alignment, orientation, distance, and angles all within the single mate. This replaces what typically requires multiple coincidence, distance, and angle mates in other design tools. Notice when creating the fastened mate, many points appear when hovering over a surface. These are called mate connectors, a fundamental part of Onshape. Any of these can be used when locating mates. This means you do not have to create special construction planes or manually calculate offsets. When inserting components that have mate connectors already defined within them, you can use snap mode to quickly locate them. This is perfect for off-the-shelf components like these bearings. Simply choose the configuration you want to use and drag and drop the bearing into position. You can use hotkeys to change the alignment and orientation if you need to as well. But mate snapping isn't just for standard components that are set up ahead of time. You can drag any of the mate connectors that appear when hovering over a surface to invoke mate snapping and simply drag the component into place. Until now, all of the components added to this jackhammer have been static, but this design requires mechanical motion. The Revolute mate allows for revolution around an axis and no additional linear motion. Both of these gears can freely rotate about their axes. However, these gears should have a mechanical gear ratio between them and the electric motor. Relationships in Onshape are unique in that they are simply added between existing mates. The mates capture the motion and the mechanical relationships are defined with relations. A connecting rod will connect the piston and the crankshaft together, again using a simple Revolute mate to establish its range of motion. When multiple components are designed in a single part studio like the piston, its seal, and its pin, they can be inserted together. Because their relationship to one another won't change, they can be simply grouped together. This means any emotion applied to any of these components will be applied to all three. This is a huge time saver as it removes the need to further mate any of these components together. Like rotary motion, linear motion can be added using the slider mate. This mate allows a component to move exclusively in a linear direction, but not rotate. You can easily change a mate from one type to another by simply editing it. Then choose a different mate type from the dropdown. In this case, we'll choose to change this slider to a cylindrical mate. A cylindrical mate allows linear motion in addition to rotary motion along an axis. With just a handful of mates, we've captured all of the mechanical motion from the electric motor, through the gears, down the crankshaft, the connecting rod, and the piston components. Finally, adding standard hardware will wrap up the design of the jackhammer. Onshape streamlines this process by allowing you to simply drag and drop and snap hardware components into place. This hardware can then of course be patterned to create additional copies where needed. However, a more intelligent way to create multiple instances of a component can be used, called Replicate. Replicate looks at the geometry and how the components were mated to it to duplicate them. This intelligent process of replicating components doesn't require any special patterns to be created and means less effort is needed to create multiple copies. In a very short amount of time, we were able to completely build this entire jackhammer assembly and show how with 32 top level components, but only required 29 mates to fully define and capture the mechanical assembly motion needed. 
No other design tool allows you to build your assemblies with less effort or mates than Onshape. Give it a try today and compare for yourself.